I'm going to show you guys how to get from this to this with little to no heat guys this is so easy keep watching if you guys want to know how to do heatless curls so you want to start off with your freshly washed hair then I'm going to use some of this color well extra large bombshell mousse because I have dead straight hair so I like to put a little bit of this in my roots it kind of gives my hair a little bit of a grit don't forget your leave-in conditioner this one's by cream of nature and the pure honey one and I just spritz this all over and I'm going to use my gimme cosmetics hairbrush this one's really good because it just brushes my long ass hair really really well I definitely recommend and there's also holes throughout it so when you're like drying your hair it works really well then you want to leave your hair to air dry or you can use a hair dryer to just give it a rough blow dry guy if you do use your hair dryer make sure to put in some heat protectant first um now you want to grab your heatless curl tube um i'll link it in the info box but you want to put it right in the center of your head and i like to clip the other side that i'm not going to be doing first down this is going to make sure to hold the tube in place and then you want to grab your bangs and basically just start wrapping it around the tube so I like to start with my bang and as I slowly move downwards I grab hair from the back and kind of drag my finger downwards to the front kind of like when you do a dutch braid I would say keep the tube close to your face and just slowly wrap each section um, and as you go down grab more hair from the back and yeah it's just the same movement when you are wrapping your hair around the tube make sure it's tight and also make sure that you brush your ends um before if you see like there are too many knots or tangles so that when you unwrap your hair it's nice and smooth and there's no you know hard edges or dents in your hair that's the last thing we want okay but yeah you just want to slowly grab more and more hair from the back to the front and just wrap each section until you get to the ends basically and I like to when I'm wrapping the ends I like to just give a little twist in my wrist so that the hair twists with it um, rather than just wrapping the hair completely flat against the tube if you get what I mean I'm just slowly doing a twist in the hair and I feel like this is what really gives that kind of bouncy curl which I really like if you wrap it tight enough it shouldn't budge in the night to be honest and this is what it should look like in the end and then you want to get your scrunches that come with the kind of tube set and wrap the ends just make sure no you know flyaways come out just wrap it properly like i'm doing here and yeah just tie it up um, and these hairbands are good because they're silk and they you know don't give weird dents as well it took me a while to get a hang of this so if you don't get it the first time don't be discouraged it took me years um, but it's only the past few months that I've been doing this quite often and it just takes a few times It takes a few times and you can see like as I pull on the other side the tubes there quite tight. So yeah Basically just make sure it's wrapped up tight I'll let you guys watch the other side so you can get a hang of like the, the technique and the movement that I'm using <laughs> I don't know why but when I wrap my hair like this I just find it so pretty and that's why I got the black tube because it looks less weird when I go to bed you know hubby deals with a lot already you know I don't want to be looking like some weird mushroom in the bed so yeah I feel like the black one is very discreet um, and yeah I don't know I just think it's really pretty so I went to bed and woke up like this obviously I did my makeup already and um, yeah I just slowly unwrapped the hair and guys look at the bounce look at the bounce 
can just pull it out like so and just run your fingers through your hair and yeah I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used to just gently brush through the hair um, I'm gonna use some of my Olaplex oil to kind of tame down any frizz because you're not using any heat so you might the thing with this you do get a little bit of frizz now I know this is heatless curls but I did say little to no heat because my bangs are really weird in the front so I just do this with the curling iron just to lift the roots up a little bit because it just lays weird then you want to use some flexible hold hairspray and guys that's it you can obviously skip the curling iron but i'm finding myself doing this every time i wash my hair it will literally last me for days so yeah definitely recommend guys give it a go